Hello there, welcome back to France. Last time we, uh, well, we beat Bohemia, took three of their promises uh, after the betrayal. We got the city of Cities done, which is basically completely Paris. And now we're currently at war with Austria to basically, well, beat Milan, if you will, not leave them with any allies for our war. And currently we're going to basically have a very interesting start of the war. Most of the forces are currently being, well, currently locked in uh, Austria itself, which is interesting. Uh, but is, they opted for running away, which is hilarious under circumstances, but uh, fine, whatever floats your boat. Um, what this means is that we basically have to focus on keeping, well, ourselves safe to some degree. But uh, we're going to challenge this uh, Burgundian army, and as you can see, we didn't actually get any negative modifiers. The uh, Our king is better than their king, or sorry, our emperor is better than their ruler. And we also have basically every single advantage here in terms of both morale and also military tactics. So, in theory, we should win this one with hilarious good numbers, but it's basically equal, which is not the best thing ever. Uh, we will, however, just move ahead here, try and take the uh, the castles, if you will. And if we can here, catch that... Oh, it's actually running far, far away. Well, if to be perfectly honest, if I see these two castles, it should leave... Uh, it should leave Bergen into a position where they would most likely like to, well, just peace out, if you will. So, uh, it could work, it could not, we'll just have to wait and see. And since I see an army coming in here, I think we're going to uh, basically just join up two forty-eight thousand or three forty-eight thousand, four actually, 48,000 siege squads, and just have them run out the the hard work for us, if you will. So, I'll sacrifice a lot of manpower, so I get a lot of, uh, I get a lot of attrition from this war. But it should be fine. It should be fine as long as we basically just cripple Austria very, very quickly here and leave everything to some degree in the hands of our our allies. But again, that should be fine. Austria is actually here right now, and they're actually moving against Liege. So I could assume that these guys are actually moving towards uh, my force, which is not the best thing ever. But that's fine. Oh, you actually decided to meet my army. Uh, oops, but uh, we can just move our troops here. And the funny thing here is, if uh, they go from Rettel, they're going to get a crossing penalty. So, oh, we actually smacked them before that, so that was my bad. I went all aggressive a little bit too fast, and we got the crossing penalty. But uh, we have the added benefit of being able to just, well, keep adding troops to the to the fold here. And I think they've run out of, uh, well, support here. So we should win this battle. There we go. And again, yeah, we need to. I know that Louis' army here is actually, yeah, as you can see, a completely. It's actually a completely broken army. It doesn't have. It's basically just cannons now. Which means that we have to watch out for things like this. Louis, can you run to Rattle before you get attacked? Nope, you couldn't. Uh, we won, though, which is an important part. Uh, I'll use this one as basically a support army in the area for now. Because what basically happens is that if uh, if this one gets attacked before it can well fully uh, recover, it might get wiped due to the fact that it's only cannons and it's two regiments there, so don't really want that to happen. So I have to see how we want to handle that. But as soon as I get um, most of Burgundy under siege, we're going to switch up the strategy, and I think move towards uh, oh we didn't get that first they actually attacked us here that was a weird choice uh, but fine if you want to uh, we're basically just going to siege Burgundy and then we're going to clear War Milan use the army in well set place to wage War Milan and then we can uh, then we can deal with with that as we keep on going have Russia lost Moscow or did I not fabricate a claim on it I did clearly not fabricate a claim on Moscow so we'll have to refabricate that one I was pretty sure certain that I did, but kind of kind of important here to actually be 100% certain. Uh, but yeah, as I said, we'll, we'll uh, siege some of the land here. I uh, will probably just use these two troops here once we have actually beaten uh, Austria, siege most of Eastern Austria, and then we'll move towards... Uh, yeah, I don't have troops there. Uh, but then we'll move towards, uh, towards Milan, declare one them, and basically just keep on going. I think you belong to this army. Nope, then you belong to that one. Uh, but as I said, it will slowly but surely make our way into in towards Milan. It's just taking the brunt of this first, well, 
start of the war, if you will, and then we can uh, then we can do aggressive moves from there. It's nothing more really. So let's just have you wait there. Let them sort it out themselves. I don't really want to get anything that gives liberty to sire, because it's just a recipe for well, some bad times I think. But uh, we should still be fine. Should still be fine. There we go. Hinnit has been taken, and with that we can now move towards Cambridge, destroy that army, join the rest up, and uh, as I said, I'm just going to siege most of Burgundy, and then we're going to uh, to make peace or something. It seems like English forces are in trouble with the pretender rebels from uh, James Stewart popping up. That could actually be very, very fun to watch. Uh, but right now, things are going very, very well. There we go, Cambridge has been Camera has fallen. We'll uh, go to Liege. And as you see, Vienna has almost fallen. The Carlton has almost fallen. And as such, I'm pretty certain that we can more or less go ahead and declare war on. Uh, we'll go ahead and declare war as I said once these two castles fall. Then it's uh, then it's war time. Time to get the machinery going. So apparently, these guys have been are happy with just sieging the northern lands, which I'm not too bothered about. To be perfectly honest, it's. It's perfectly fine, it's not actually a problem at all. Uh, I'll just allow them to siege them. We can still get the PC that we want here, which is basically just Gers at the current stage. And potentially force Austria to give up some uh, small concessions. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, it seems to be pretty much alright. Greifswald has fallen. How sad. Uh, but yeah, I'm I'm pretty certain that we're still safe. If, uh, if I have to put it that way. So... Again, yeah, I think it's uh, more or less time here that we moved into Milan. Goal being to take Romagna. And as you see, Geller will join, the Papal will join, Lorraine will join, and that's basically it. So I'm pretty sure, as I said, that this will turn into a tremendous victory for us. Okay, that was a long winder ride around, but okay. Uh, I will have to, of course, deal with the Pope, just get the Pope out of it quickly, I think. And then we can deal with Milan afterwards. Uh, just make your way over there, please. Going to Ferrara. They'll have to siege Ferrara before they can do anything, I think. I'm actually a little bit uncertain, but I don't actually think they have to siege that. So let's just do the safe thing and run to Rome. Yeah, they since it's their promise, they can just march straight through the fortress, which is hilariously annoying. But uh, these guys will come and help soon enough, and I think you guys can just retreat to the actual retreat to Napoli. So that's that's good, I guess. Uh, let's see here. Where are my navy? We can just pop up the navy here, and that should help with some of the sieges in uh, in the area. And right now, I'm tempted to just leave the sieging in the hands of the Polish and just uh, go straight for taking out Milan here. They're actually going for trying to hunt down this army here, so what we're going to do then is just block the straight. Put, uh, okay, we can't put that guy in charge, he's just too slow. Hmm, yeah, we'll just run and hide basically over Messina, and we'll have the fleet block the, uh, block the exit strategy, if you will. And they're actually splitting up here, which is beneficial to me. There we go, you split up more than enough now. Uh, Hungary and Denmark is doing their job, which is good. Uh, Burgundy is more or less beaten already, which is also good. Bar kicked... No, Lorraine has actually taken some land here, so... How about we just go and siege Barra? Nope, that's, a, that's the wrong army. That's the wrong army. This one was supposed to go and siege Barra. That's my bad. Uh, but anyway, so I'll keep this going. I don't think there will be too many big battles from here on out. We are messing with Lorraine here, beating them more or less completely. And of course, we're going to continue basically just taking our, picking our battles, if you will. And I'm pretty sure we will be able to do just that. If they now go for the Milanese force, that's kind of bad. But again, it's something I can handle. Let's just siege Treviso. Yeah, they're going for the force in Milan, so we can't actually help that one. So we'll just focus on getting the Pope out of this, I think. I think that should be a tolerable focus. We'll join you two up with that army, and we'll send you guys actually to the Pope. You guys will stick to the Romanian army. 
And uh, I'll just get to work going. Once we have any bigger battles, I'll show you. But right now, as you can see here, Milan is getting beaten by uh, the combined Hungarian da Danish force. So I'm tempted here. Why are you guys running? Are you guys actually just running to Parma or are you running to the Popey land? Are you actually running to Romagna? They're actually running to Romagna. Why did I leave? No, where the hell are you going? You are going to the Pope. Okay, that's fine. I mean, it didn't make any sense what you did, though, but that's fine. Barua has been sieged, and let's just take the capital, too. Uh, but yeah, this is this war is over. Let's just be perfectly honest. This war is definitely over. Uh, I do have to start doing some, well, force... Not force um, bullshit, but basically just keeping making sure here that I don't run out of manpower because it looks to be a real threat right now. So uh, we'll just start setting up the sieges, and Milan and Austria should already be beaten, more or less. We'll see how this goes. I actually got an achievement right now. All your trade are belong to us. Uh, I think that's the having the highest trade power in uh, Venice, Genoa, and the English Channel. I thought, but apparently not. Um, I'll check that out later. What it actually is, but. Uh, I got it, so that's good. Free achievement. I will probably have tried to get that, but uh, can't complain when I get something for free. I'll use half this army here to just clean up the remains, if you will, here, and then we will uh, then we'll deal with the well rest of the problems here in terms of uh, Milan and everything. But I'm pretty sure my allies will do most of the job for me. Uh, Austria here, are you ready to give up Gers and Vienna? I'm tempted to just take Vien here just to end this, but I don't really want to break their uh, break their uh, their uh, battles either because they could potentially get stronger alliances, which wouldn't be good. Uh, Burgundy isn't really strong military wise, so I think they're going to be able to keep that, and I think we'll take war operations. We can take Vien in the next war, and then we can also fabricate claims to make it cheaper and better for us. So uh, Austria, we don't really have anything else that we need from them, so we can go ahead and make peace there. Gers will uh, now be core to 78 admin points, not too bad. And I'm really looking forward to seeing when the first coalition will actually be created. Arken Brandenburg in Switzerland. Uh, I'm very tempted to just take everything that they own, everything that they hold and own. So we'll have to see if we end up doing that. But for now, I'll allow the war against Milani to rage and uh, we'll see how things go. It seems that like we can start now actually making some peace deals here, especially with uh, Lorraine, for instance. You can super peace with them, just white peace, no need to get anything else. And the same here with the Pope, we can... You know what, I should probably just go the, for the war reparation achievement, but the Pope doesn't actually want to give me a white peace even, so... We'll have to wait a little bit before we can peace him out, but uh, right now things are looking rather good. I'll send one of these armies back down there, we'll have the other three here basically prepare for a potential assault on... Uh, on uh, on Flanders here, and I should probably still keep on fabricating claims on the land that I want in in Russia, Kazmov and uh, and Penza. Let's see here, Riazan. Do I have claim on that? Nope. So Kazmov, Penza, Riazan, and then we can go ahead and declare one Russia, take Moscow, and all we need then is just Vien. I'm also very tempted then to just keep on taking Brandenburg land because, as you can see, it's not highly developed. And it would be nice to just have a little bit of beachhead here, but I'm a little bit unsure just how much I can take before Poland gets super busy. So Stolp and as you see, Stolp and Etze is something that they own. So I'm very tempted here when I declare war on, as you might imagine, uh, Flanders here, that I use that as an opportunity to basically take some Brandenburg land. So we're going to fabricate claims on Nomar, Kohlberg, uh, Stettin and Sternberg. And then we're going to just basically hand the other things back to uh, to Poland. So let's see here. Set in first, and yeah, that's the plan. We'll see how it works. Uh, for now, however, I'll allow the siege to continue, and uh, we should be able to make peace with Milan very very soon. Stability drop. Three five four. Charles uh, tenth. Three five four. He's actually a very nice upgrade to have right now. So I uh, can't complain about that. And we can also do an upgrade in military attack, which we will. Military attack 25, the Royal Mortar. With that, we get a Fire plus 2, a Trio Shock plus 0 0.10, and we can now have a new type of cannon. Do you want to do an upgrade here to diplomatic attack, though? I think I can, honestly. It shouldn't be a problem. And uh, it allows us to now build heavy frigates. 
Maximum colonial rage has been increased by uh, 150. Allows client state and advanced castles belly. Set the growth increased by 25. And as I said, heavy frigates. So we might actually have to do a little bit of an upgrade on our fleet here right away. So let's just park you and let's see here if we... 2,183 bucks. So basically everything in this fleet needs to be upgraded. So why don't we just do that? It's perfectly fine. It'll, it'll take a little bit longer because these they need to be repaired before they can be, well, used. But now we probably have to do this with all of our fleets. Yeah, as you can see here. Uh, it's basically just the light ships though, so it should be fine. Let's just do the upgrade there. And with that also means that I'll have to, the 62 fleet that I currently am running around to trying to, uh, to uh, this one. I'll have to do some upgrades to that one too, but right now I don't really have the money for that. It's uh, a few more ships, so uh, it's not a problem. Sorry, trade company, you'll have to deal with that yourself. Uh, let's see, we can, we might as well just block it now, which should be fine. Airshire has been converted. Conversion is always going well. We started on England now, basically, so I can't complain about that. What we are going to upgrade, of course, was the motor. There we go. And uh, for now, we'll go back to just waiting. Uh, as I said, I'm going to use a lot of points there to take Parliament here and Romagna for myself, and then we'll try and hand as much as we can to Venice uh, on, for the rest, basically. I should probably just go ahead and siege uh, Genoa, or Cuneo as well. Hmm. They have started getting some forces, but I have, uh, I have Milan and well Venice to do the, the brunt work for me. It's actually does actually Venice not have a castle? It doesn't have a castle, which makes it very easy to siege and as valuable as it is, I'm pretty sure it will actually give me a nice chunk of war score. Let's see here. Ah, two percent. Well, it's good for a non-fortified province, I guess. Uh, let's see, are you guys actually running into my fleet now? Boom. Let's see. But yeah, I think uh, I think Milan is ready to make peace as soon as Romagna has been sieged. So we'll wait until Romagna has been sieged, and then we'll make uh, make a peace deal. And that will be the end of this uh, this session. But uh, we made some pretty good, pro pretty good uh, progress here, I dare say. So I'll be back shortly. There we go, the war now with Milan is basically over and we can now set up a peace seal. Romagna, Parma and Mentio to myself and we'll have you give basically everything but Venetia back to, to Venice and also you might as well just pay me war reparations here. Now I will get uh, a bunch of power projection too which is very very good. I already get uh, basically all the benefits but this will bring me up to the, the maximum which will be very good to have. So, uh, with that said, if we will go ahead and do this. It will cost me quite a bit of aggressive expansion as usual. But we haven't actually, again, had any problems with, uh, with, uh, well, basically people being pissy about it. So I don't think it's anything to be concerned about uh, in terms of uh, aggressive expansion. It doesn't actually seem to matter to most at all. So uh, I wouldn't be too concerned about this. It seems to be uh, pretty pretty all right, to be perfectly honest. Now, it also seems that most of Europe is having their own problems to deal with. Uh, Switzerland is currently getting completely mashed by, well, that union. And as such, we are going to go after Flanders here pretty much uh, very soon. I still have a couple of claims to fabricate by then uh, on uh, Kohlberg and Sternberg. But once we fabricate those claims, we're going to go ahead and declare war. And of course, we're going to go after Russia too pretty soon. Uh, the main problem now is Kazan, and that they're, they're actually sieging the Russian provinces. So worst case scenario here, I actually end up having to fight Kazan, who's allied with the Ottomans. So uh, we'll have to see. Things that could get very interesting very, very quickly. Currently, I do need to pick another rival though. And in this case, I think Brandenburg would actually <laughs> suit us very, very nicely. So... Uh, Let's see how this goes. We do still have our well alliance and everything with uh, with the Polish, so uh, I do need to uh, I do need to keep on keep the uh, keep relations high, but that shouldn't be a problem as of now. Once we also give back Stolp or Netza and uh, Stolp here to Poland, they should be a lot happier with uh, with us. 
So with that in mind, we'll leave it here. Thank you for watching. Please leave a comment, praise, criticism, and do you feel like, and uh, I hope to see you next time. Bye.